This is my third series in the video blog of my climb of Rainier, Mount Rainier, which is up in Seattle. We'll be doing that uh, actually next week, June 20th of this year, which is uh, 2016. What I want to do now is kind of go over a little bit of my equipment that we have. Actually, this is the list that's required from RMI Expeditions of all the gear that we have. And you can see here, it's all laid out on the floor. So I figured I'd, I'd give you a quick little show of what we need to take. And this is this is about 95% of the equipment. I have a couple of things here that are, are, are a couple of things I don't have here. But we can start with kind of the outerwear. So you have, of course, the crampons, which go in the plastic boots, which is exciting. This is the best part. Um, helmet, ice axe, which is key. This is great for when you're traversing, um, you know, uh, the glacier, or you need to do what's called self-arrest. That means if you fall off the mountain, you can do a self-arrest where you dig this into the snow to stop from falling. And multiple layers of clothing for upper and lower body, including three pairs of gloves. Gloves are probably one of the most critical pieces of equipment. You know, the reason I bring three is you have one to hike in, you have one at night, and then you have a spare, spare set of gloves in case you lose some. Because if you lose your gloves, you're almost guaranteed to have a major injury. What else? Uh, baklava coats, lots of different coats. You know, all this is depending upon the weather and how much snow there is and how cold it is. Um, we go a lot of, just a lot of clothing, gaiters, water bottle, of course, you know, simple things, you know, like camera, goggles. I'll tell you, I wanted to show you my two favorite pieces of, of equipment. This is a zero degree sleeping bag, which is pretty, pretty amazing. You know, you can sleep, I can sleep in there in zero degree weather. And this is my favorite piece. This is my, it's called a summit jacket. And this is rated to about negative 25 degrees. This is a, the coat that you wear on the summit or at nighttime when you're just sitting around trying to stay warm. Look at this thing. <laughs> so this is my favorite piece of equipment. This thing will keep me nice and warm for hopefully uh, when I'm at the summit, you know, which should be in about a week or so from now. And all of this gets packed up into my backpack here. And the total, the final weight is, I'm already starting to sweat with this thing on. Uh, the final weight should be about 45 pounds. All goes in this, you know, except for the clothes I'm wearing. You know, all this will pack in here, uh, including some food, which is another five pounds. The total weight of this bag will be about 45 to 55 pounds. And that's it. So get ready for my next video, which will hopefully will be uh, probably a training video where we're going to be training in Seattle, uh, outside of Seattle in the Washington area on uh, getting ready for our climb.